Hello Storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make a telling time worksheet using one of Storyboard that's pre-made templates. So let's get started. Now first we're going to pick out a template that we like. Now we have a few nice options but I think I'm going to go with this one here with the character and the old grandfather clock. So all we have to do is click the copy template button that's right below and this will bring us directly into the Storyboard creator which will then prompt us to give our title, our template a name. So you can give it whatever name you would like. I'm just going to call mine template one and click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize our template. This is where you get to add characters, items, update any text, whatever changes we want to do. So first let's add a character. Now we have this nice character in a very fancy dress. So let's add a character so they have a friend. Go up to our characters menu. I'm going to search under kids. Now we have a lot of great options and I could scroll through all of these options and try to find a kid who's wearing a nice fancy suit. But if we go to our filters option, we can search a lot faster. So let's just select suit and that will narrow down our search. All right, we only have three characters here, so that makes that much easier. So let's grab this character. And uh, all you have to do is just drag and drop them into your storyboard. And now we get to customize them. This is where we get to update facial expressions, poses, colors, any changes that we want to make. So when you're all done making the changes to your character, just click the update pose button below. And there we go, there's our character. Now we can move them anywhere we want within our storyboard, as well as resize them. To do that, just drag the corner of your image. And there we go. All right, now next is items. Now let's close our filters and we can look for any items that we may want in the um, items menu up here and you can scroll through all of these categories but if there's a specific item that you would like you can search for it in the upper right hand search menu now we have these nice clocks down here that don't have a minute or hour hand they're just a blank face so i'd like to add a minute and hour hand to one of them so let's search for clock items just search clock you should be able to find something all right here we go we have a minute and hour hand item, so let's drag this down into our storyboard. And great, let's resize this, it's a little too big. And if we go to our right hand menu, we should have some image options. All right, so let's click this. And we have all the different poses for the different hours of the day. So we have all the 12 options for our clock. So let's make it three o'clock. All right, just click update image. And there we go. Now next is background image. Now this is a pretty straightforward template that doesn't have any pre-existing background scenes or colors. So let's add our own. If you go up to your scene menu and let's go over to patterns. I think I just want a plain light color down here in the lower half of this. So let's grab this first one. This is a nice blue low opacity frame. So let's just drag and drop and let's go to stretch to fill in our right hand menu. All right, let's go with this option right here, proportional. So this will stretch the frame uh, to fill it uh, to the correct size that the scene originally is. So it's gonna have a little extra space on the top and bottom, which actually works out for me. So just click okay when you're done and let's move it down. I like it about here. All right, now with our scene in place, let's send it all the way to the back of the template there we go. That way it's not covering up these different clock faces. All right. Now, last but not least is text. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes. All you have to do is select the text box, highlight what you want to change, and you can put in your own words. So let's give this a title, practicing time. All right. I think that looks nice, but let's change the font. So to do that, just highlight what you want to change and then go over to your text editor here and you can select a new font. Let's go with a classical looking font. All right, I think this one right here looks pretty nice. That looks good, but that is very small. So let's make that font way bigger. So back to our right hand menu in the text editor, select the font size. Let's go really big, let's do 76. All right, great. Now, just like your characters and your items, you can move the text boxes anywhere you want in your storyboard as well as resize them. So let's give a little bit of space for this title here. So we're gonna move this header up. I think that's good. And move this one up here. So that breathes a little bit better. 
Now, when you're all done making the edits to your template, all you have to do is click the orange save and exit button that's in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And that is how you make a uh, time worksheet using Storyboard That. Thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.